Let us see what is next here. God damn it. He read pissed off Pepe and I got to push all these buttons myself. What's going on? Our friend Todd Darcy. If you guys don't know, this is an RTS game called Falling Frontier that I am so behind. Did an interview on the channel with him last December. Really super nice guy. One guy working on this project. One guy working on this project. And this man is making an RTS that looks like Star Citizen RTS. Like if you want an RTS that looks like Star Citizen, this is the fucking game. And I am so happy that he is making progress on this game. It is looking fantastic. And I want to see what is up right now. Uh, I'm going to watch a few new videos from him, and I highly recommend that you check out Falling Frontier. I have a I have an interview on the channel with him. It's about an hour long where we talk about uh, different types of gameplay that he's bringing in. He's actually going to bring the campaign in, so that is great news. That was one of the questions I had asked him, and he said, eh, if I had a little bit more support, I might create a campaign. He is now adding a campaign. This is an, a fantastic update. That is going to be great gameplay. I am so happy that he is doing that, but let's watch. This is a gameplay trailer. So now we have a gameplay trailer. Let's check it out and see. I'm already liking it. I, I, this man is just the happiest, friendliest dude, and he is one dude working on this project. And I'm telling you what, he's got a great imagination, and he's just a creative genius. I wonder if he's, I wonder if he has new units. There's the unit customizer we were talking about. Looks fantastic. A new cap ship? Nice, 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 nice. Loving the sounds. The crew, we talked about the dynamics of the crew in the interview. Very cool. Love what he's doing with that. <laughs> he hired Bruce Willis. He, in fact, did hire Bruce Willis, Chris. No, just... <laughs> You made me spill coffee on myself, Chris. <laughs> I mean, I'd have an all-female crew as well, but me being the only male in there, I think that's the only way my... But listen, listen. I would crew that ship with all-female, and I would be the captain. I'm just saying that's how I roll. That's how I equip all my ships. Uh, I highly recommend that uh, everybody here do the same. <laughs> Captain's log started. That brings a whole new. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. Captain's log. No. Okay. Okay. We'll just bypass that one. Physicalized inventories, including ammo. The gameplay really heavily revolves around line of sight, LOS gameplay mechanics, the way that in which you track units and is, is very, very important in this game. Highly recommend checking out the interview I did with Todd. This is really going to be a fun RTS. 
It's going to initially release with the campaign. It's going to have some skirmish mode to it. And then if it has more support after release, he will continue to build up upon it. So I'm highly, highly recommending to Todd to do the multiplayer. He is not doing the multiplayer yet. That is something I continually push. I said it on the interview over and over again. I said, you got to have multiplayer. You got to have the multiplayer. So like I will continue, continue to pound the table on multiplayer with Todd. We will eventually get multiplayer. I will be relentless and we will get multiplayer out of this. Look at that. Look at that. Some, some shots miss based upon crew experience. The explosions, fucking phenomenal. The sounds, fucking phenomenal. Crew can be hijacked. Like they can be imprisoned by other ships. You can basically take the crew from other ships and make them your prisoner. Like the the what he has planned for Falling Frontier is phenomenal. The gameplay looked phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay. We got the Gamescom IGN trailer. Let's check hey that out. My name's Todd Darcy. I'm the solo developer at so Star nice. Fox Studios. And for so, the past three so years, genuine I've been of a dude. On a game called Falling Frontier. It's a sci-fi strategy game that just mixes the close action of uh, of uh, naval combat as well as the grand scale of of building throughout a star system. Um, it focuses heavily on line of sight mechanics um, and really visceral cool, combat you, systems that are layered upon each other. So you'll see projectiles bouncing off of ships, penetrating. Where can we find that at? Because it wasn't in any of the video. So far, we've got two other videos that we're going to pull up here. So we want to make sure we get the new ships in this video. I want to see them. It's something that I highly recommended he do as well as putting other ship types in the game. So it sounds like he listened to that, and that is great if he put new ships in there. Uh, based upon our recommendations, we were telling him, hey, we want more ship styles. We want new ship styles. So that's cool. Uh, put me a link if you can, Erad, so we can see some of the new ship types. And I, uh, please, please do not let me forget that. Getting the whole way through. When did I miss them? Oxygen vent. Uh, if you're talking about the new ship the styles from the last video, I saw um, those. You'll they look great. The capture. Trying to get out. Um, if there's more than them, really I want to see large, it. Large explosions, um, and the ships just just get torn apart by physics. Yeah, they, they look fantastic. They go everywhere. It's fantastic to watch. Um, there's a whole bunch of celestial bodies and and a whole range of of those other look like the Corvettes. Explore like Erad always does this when I try and showcase something. He likes to like put me down and tell me what I'm, I'm missing something. <laughs> you totally don't know what you're talking about, DG. I only had an interview with this guy and like, <laughs> okay, the, the, the last ships that, that, that you're, that we're referring to here, do you want to give me like a timestamp so that like these ships right here is what you're referring to? They do look like the Corvettes. They look like a variation of the Corvette that we saw earlier, but if these, uh, thank you. Thank you. Lurk. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well then what, where would not these ones. Okay. Wh wh what would you like to ruin the show? Erad, would you like to ruin the show? Well, hold on, hold on one second while we ruin the show for Erad, where he tries to prove to him to everybody that I'm wrong about something and he's right. Let's just ruin it. Before what? Before what? What do you want me to do, Erad? Before what? You you want me to you want me to go back to prior video? You want to ruin the show for everybody, Erad? Do you want to ruin the show for everybody, Erad? Are you gonna behave? Are you gonna? He's like the little kid in the back. He's like, are we there yet? <laughs> Did I ever say that there weren't new ships? I'm not quite sure what he's, what he's, he, yeah, Grizz has to pee right now. You see what you're doing, Erad? You're holding up the whole show. You're looking, it's, it's not looking good for you. Like on the PR side of things, Erad, it's just not looking good for you when you do this. <laughs> Bingo. Just, just get torn apart by physics and they go everywhere. It's fantastic to watch. Um, there's a whole bunch of <laughs> celestial bodies and and a whole range of of other places to explore like like a nebula ships travel faster than light they have to jump between points and they consume I fuel. love I love the jump uh, the, the quantum jumping is eat, awesome. so they consume food and of course look ships at, look at the, the lightning and the, whenever they fire the, the so effects, there's all of these dude. logistical considerations Ooh. to actually Think about Ooh, when you're zoom actually out? playing you the game. Me? You so it's me? got a lot of the classic things that you would find in a normal RTS, like base building. Um, but it also borrows different elements from yes, they are. the What's up, Mod eighty one? I didn't see you, bro. Such as ship design, and and you can actually come into this ship editor and 
you can change the different types of weapons that you that you put on a ship these all get unlocked via research um, and you can just have these custom configurations to just really suit your actual purposes for uh, for um, your uh, flotillas um, further the last time we looked at this we were talking about the ship customizer and which was a really really nice touch I love this about these types of RTS games when you can take like individual units and design yourself like a specifically unique unit through a customization process such as this. So very, very, very uh, highly anticipated feature that that he nailed down and he did it good. He did it justice. Through that, you've also got ship in uh, terminals as well. So every ship has a bridge, crew, quarters, jump drive, engines, stuff like that. And again, you can unlock uh, different components and um, and apply these yeah. to yeah, every 81. ship j just to very have slick. a really unique customized flotilla um, but you can also add special abilities like uh, the ability to lay a minefield or perhaps these are the destroyers ship pardon me i said corvette the these are destroyers that so we've been seeing it can lay in wait and what's up perhaps do a bit of an ambush or perhaps Good to do see a bit buddy. of recon there's really a whole bunch of different options and it's just really exciting just to have all of these things jammed into sort of an old school rts yeah, um, yeah as well yeah. you've got crew so you've got both Dig enlisted it. and also command crew so command crew are really important. Uh, they they are physical objects on on the actual ships, so they can be killed, injured, um, and they can also be upgraded too. So they can learn perks and skills that will enhance the ships. There also also there are a finite amount of resources, so you have to be careful what you're creating and and what resources you're committing to uh, the battle. So that is also very cool. You can now mine on planets, uh, which is a process in the UI, which is very, very cool that he has added, uh, as well as mine in space uh, with this three-dimensional kind of looking RTS uh, style, which which I am grateful for that he made uh, both items and resources finite because i love that because then you have to really really fight over these resources which makes the gameplay very urgent and also the fact that if you look at the way that this, the 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 resources are, are plotted out finding them and holding them are going to be very important if you don't have the resources to really hold the area okay then you have to ask yourself like how am i going to go about getting these resources which you can also be like a scavenger and go out and find trade lines and then you know go after the trade ships and go after resources that way especially if like you're losing the battle and you don't have the resources to create your own base then you can kind of essentially become like raiders and then go out after like uh the, the supply lines of your enemy and pick off the resources uh through ships which is also very cool gameplay also very cool and here we've got a ship just jumping into the combat area um as mentioned previously, See Explodo, have a great objects, day, buddy. So they're gonna push through different, we love different, um, diff different asteroids. Uh, projectiles will bounce off of space stations and Tell Avenger, ships. We love his content. Some will uh, penetrate through and cause in internal damage. Um, ships can be disabled or they can be destroyed depending upon what kind of damage they actually take. So look at these battles. So does look at these fucking ships. battles. Just starting to Stunning. lose control and just just sort of list away into on um, the distance. Uh, you'll see. Crew it'll be. It'll probably be next year. Um, he was escape, saying the end of this one, mod eighty one. He got picked um, up by a publisher like the old school way. So I'm guessing probably end of next year. If they're friendly crew, he's uh, come a far in away. In the event with it. that definitely you next year, I'm pretty crew, sure. Um, then they can be in interrogated, and perhaps you can find out some different bits of information uh, about your. Um, it's just so tasty. Ship it looks so good. Or perhaps there are actual installations. Um, so we can see this uh, space station that's just been see, destroyed. See, go get some sleep, bro. Blue light for a big explosion. Anytime, man. It's almost uh, a requirement. Pepe's for, upset for with you, though, Erad. I'll have to calm him down. And you just see this hulking mass just <laughs> on fire with, with smoke this way and flames off going the everywhere. He stormed off so, the stream. So yeah, that just kind of sums up. Let everybody know that watches you, Erad. That Pepe literally stormed off stream experience. from that. Um, thank you for taking the time <laughs> to uh, check this out, and um, 
yeah, just look forward to seeing you in That's, this game. I, you. I'm so happy what he's doing. By the way, Kevlar here is uh, one of the men responsible with Uncle Funk Machinima, who's working on a machinima with Erad and I in it. So props to Kev and Uncle Funk. We love it. We love what's happening there. And I uh, can't wait to show that machinima on stream. That'll be some fun stuff. They've been working very hard behind the scenes and super appreciate all that they do. Although very questionable writing, very questionable writing on the script. <laughs> some of the things I had to say, I was like, what the fuck am I saying? All right, let's see what else. Developer. <laughs> Kev, no problem, buddy. All right. Falling Frontier developer overview. Let's check this hey out. Hey there, I'm Todd Darcy, the solo developer at Statafox Studios, an Australian based studio founded in Melbourne. As a kid, I loved computer games, but it really went beyond <laughs> that was your just first playing mistake, for Kev. fun. I was always interested Woo! in systems and mechanics. Did we see so that when before? I wasn't playing a game. Whoa, what a great fucking cinematic. I hope that happens every time you fucking warp through the... That is, That was a crazy, amazing I cinematic. I love computer games, but it really went beyond just playing them for fun. Wow, I was always interested that was in systems cool and mechanics. Fuck, so when I wasn't playing a game, travel, I was usually man. designing one. My genre of choice was always real-time strategy. I always imagined. I love what RTS. My a good RTS is so much fun. Three years ago, I started on the journey of creating that game, Falling Frontier. It's a game about choice and consequences. Choices and risk consequences and reward. Yes. It has logistic systems that require a I didn't player ask the to engine. move resources I need to, around a star uh, I need to, to support their I'm not sure war what machine, engine he's defend their own supply lines, and attack their enemies. Should I ask Mod 80 when that's it a good question? It utilizes line of sight mechanics at a celestial level, allowing a player to truly hide a base in the sensor shadow of a planet. Yes. Or make strategic FTL jumps between those very same blind spots, resulting in the perfect flanking maneuver. Yes, yes, yes! Can't wait. See, I this is the LOS gameplay. In the planning phase of a military action. I wanted to create a. We we really talked a lot about this because this is like the key game mechanic of uh, this is this is a lot having to do with 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 the gameplay, which is the line of sight gameplay, uh, and and I'm a big proponent of this because it's really just a fun hide and seek way of playing, and uh, it just brings back like old school vibes, makes me feel so good. System that rewarded a player that did so. Investing in both short and long range reconnaissance allows a player to better understand their surroundings. I wanted to provide players a way to make intelligent decisions based on their own experience and understanding of the game world around them. Imagine seeing a large blip on the radar. This could be a group of smaller ships or a single large ship. See how he's pointing on the UI, see how in, on this map, which is just beautifully done, where he's pointing to different areas and installations and recon satellites that he's put out there. Like, there is a section here where he's, like, literally clicking on these points of interest, and, and some of these are satellites, and you will get the real-time view right here. So, like, you guys are being able to see the arrow. So, like, you click on that, boom, you see the real-time here. You can literally zoom in and zoom out of this map. It is so real-time oriented. It is fucking fantastic. Like, the, the map itself is, is just a stroke of creative genius. You won't know unless you investigate yourself. You can literally zoom in and zoom out of you these battles. You could switch to an active scanning mode instead of a passive mode to return more information, but doing so could give away your position to an enemy. This all loops back to risk and reward, choice and consequence. And there's no right or wrong way to play, just your decisions, actions, and the consequences of those actions, and ultimately, what you do next. No grand strategy is complete without boots on the ground, so for this reason, having the ability to design ship loadouts that let you carry out the tactics you'd like to employ was pivotal. Equip your ships with a wide range of internal and external modules to give you an edge in combat. Falling Frontier is a dream game for me. It's a game I've always wanted to play, and I'm thankful I've had the opportunity to work on it the past three years. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out the game. I really appreciate it. Take care. I mean, the fact that he's put three years into this, it is just like, it is literally stunning. So... 
Falling Frontier, check it out. Put it on your wish list on Steam. Todd Darcy, uh, a fine, upstanding young gentleman, uh, very, very cool dude, had an interview on the channel. If you guys want to know more about it, uh, just type up Falling Frontier on DG360 and you'll see an interview that I had with him, which I think only has like 10,000 views. Uh, but very, very nice guy. Spent two hours with him, edited that two hours of footage into a nice, concise 45 minute to hour interview where I split up. Uh, where you guys actually sent in a lot of questions for me to ask him. I asked some of my own along with your guys' questions. We got to find out a lot more. And uh, since we did that in December, he's added a lot more features. Hope you guys are enjoying all the new updates from Falling Frontier. And this is, again, something that I cannot wait to see for finished product. And, and I do believe in, in Todd. Like I said, just a very genuine, happy, wonderful dude. Uh, and and cannot wait to see this come to fruition. Uh, check it out, guys. Please, please, please.